morning my dear kids so last week we learned chapter 1 and chapter 2 right we revised so this week we are going to see chapter 3 as well as chapter 4 okay my dear kids now all of you take page number 46 so first what is year so year means it's all around us we can feel it but we cannot see it right so all living things like human beings plants and animals need air to breathe and then living things cannot able to live without air isn't it so air is a mixture of different gases right air is a mixture of different gases that covers the earth air is all around us we can feel it we cannot see it all living things human beings plants and animals need air to breathe living things cannot live without air okay now take the next page page number 47 we can see what are the properties of air yes when we blow air into the balloon the balloon will become inflates right when air is let out the balloons become smaller so this shows that the air occupies space and also air has weight right when the when the wind is blowing very high our face will will turn right this indicates the air has weight and some air can be light and some will be heavy and here the important point moving air is called dash moving air is called wind okay what is said as moving air that is wind okay so this wind it can blows at different speeds and then it can move in all directions okay but sometimes it will it uh, it will blow in more than one direction at the same time see a pleasant and soft blowing wind is called breeze so when the wind blows at a high speed that is called storm okay so pleasant and soft blowing wind is called breeze we can say right uh, now it's breezing which means a pleasant and soft blowing then when the wind is very hard like oh he oh he wind okay oh he storm right that is said as storm it will damage our daily life okay we take the next page here see breeze means she is enjoying storm means everyone is running see and then windmill windmill is rotating because of the wind right it uses the wind to make energy so because of that energy only the it, uh, the electricity is created okay see weather vanes are used to to indicate wind direction dash is used, used to to indicate the wind direction weather vanes and then air helps us in many ways like it helps us to dry clothes it helps the birds to fly it helps us fly kites and it helps fire to burn and air helps aeroplane to fly air helps yachts to sail and then air flies fills air fills tires in vehicle it, the, it helps them to move smoothly and then air helps parachute to fly okay so these and all just you read this yeah sometimes the air gets polluted do you know why see the smoke from vehicles smoke from factories and then smoke from burning garbage because of this only the air is getting polluted okay my dear kids so we should breathe in fresh and clean air that is free from pollution so we have to avoid the things that are causing pollution okay so these are all about air topic just you just read it then you can answer the objective type questions then you see this choose the correct answer match the following tick the correct sentence answer the following okay this answer the following no need to bike or it because i am i asked like one words 
okay just you read it you can able to answer okay now this worksheets also you have to just go through it okay then water chapter water chapter chapter 4 see all living things like plants animals and people they need water but where does water come from we find water in streams lakes ponds rivers seas oceans and wells okay and here the main question is dash is the main source of water dash is the main source of water very good R rain right rain is the main source of water what are the natural sources of water oceans rivers lakes streams ponds and springs are other natural sources of water and then in some fruits and vegetables also water is present so the sources of water can be classified into two types what are they surface water and then underground water next page surface water so when the water that present in the surface of the earth that is in the form of streams rivers lakes ponds oceans that is called as surface water and then when it rains the rain water will flow in the form of streams in some places rain water collects to form lakes and then some mountains are covered with snow when that snow melts rains rivers are formed water from rivers is fresh and fit for drinking and then rivers finally join into the sea flow into the sea so sea water that is salty and cannot be used for drinking okay that underground water some of the rain water flows to the soil below the ground that is example is well okay and then hand pumps are also used to draw water from the underground okay and then you all know that what are the uses of water water is used for drinking for cooking for bathing for washing vegetables for washing vessels and so on and then animals also need water for drinking some animals live in water see 75 percentage of the earth is covered with water but only 3 percentage of it can be used for drinking then here they have mentioned some points to save the water and then see by throwing by throwing the garbage by throwing all the dusters it makes the water dirty and keep drinking water clean okay so we should filter the water before we use it we water should be boiled before drinking okay before drinking water should be boiled we should cover the vessels that store drinking water okay these are all about the chapter 4 what's the name water okay so today we learned about air and water just go through it it's just a objective question okay once you read you can utter Okay my dear kids so the next class we can see the next topic bye bye